Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how you can issue a set of commands from this computer to remotely shut down or restart my MacBook Air. Now to do this, we need to do a couple of things. First, we need to ensure that we are both connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot. And we'll just come over here to the airport icon. And as you can see, I'm connected to the UltraPimp wireless network. And this computer also must be connected to UltraPimp. So there we go. We're both set up on the same Wi-Fi network. That's the first step. Next up, we have to enable permission for this computer to talk to this computer. So what I have to do is I'm going to go over here into System Preferences. I'm going to click on the Sharing tab. And over here, I'm going to check off Remote Login. Now, this will allow this computer over here, the MacBook Pro, to issue commands and get into this computer over here, my, Mac, my MacBook Air. So now we have Remote Login set up. Next, we need to find the IP address. So we need to find the IP address of this computer over here. And to do that, we'll just simply click on the networking icon. And over here, we can see that I have an IP address of 192.168.1.102. What is an IP address? An IP address is basically a unique number assigned to every computer on your network. So this particular computer here, my MacBook Air, has the unique number of 192.168.1.102. All right. So that's the unique IP number specific to this computer. If you don't have an IP address, then no computers can talk to each other. So I have Wi-Fi enabled set up and that's my IP. Next up, we want to start going into the terminal. So now we're going to start typing in commands on this computer to shut down and restart this computer right here. So to do this on the MacBook Pro, I'm going to go into something called terminal. So to get there, I just go into my applications folder. I'll come down to the very bottom, go into utilities. And now we're going to go into something called the terminal. So this terminal is very basic. All it is is a simple white background with a bunch of words. And you might be wondering, well, what good is this? This basically looks like a typewriter or some kind of like command line interface. And because of this, back in the day in the 60s, before there was anything like a mouse or a GUI or graphical interface, everything had to be typed in manually like this. And because Mac OS is based on Unix, the old school operating system, this is what you get. This is how you're able to talk to the computer at a very low level and make it do things that you do or don't want it to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type in this command. So I'm going to type in this command, SSH. Jay-Z. Now, Jay-Z is the name of my administrator account. So I should, probably shouldn't say this, but basically on all of my computers, the admin account is Jay-Z. So I'm going to type in my username, my specific username on this computer. All right. Jay-Z at, at 192.168.1.102. So the unique IP address of my MacBook Air. All right. I press enter. And it's asked you this question, do you want to enable this? Do you want to do this? And it says yes, no, or fingerprint. I'm going to type in yes. It's going to ask for my password now. Um, I'm going to stop this for a second. Okay, so I typed in my password, and we are now remotely logged into this computer over here. So here's the fun part. I'm going to show you the commands to restart and shut down. If you want to restart, you're going to type in sudo space... Um, shutdown dash r dash now all right so we're telling this command that we want to shut down and restart this computer so it shoot it's sudo shutdown as in restart right there dash r like restart and we want to do it right now i press enter i'll type in my password again all right so i just entered my password again to do a restart i press enter and over here it says Final system message from Jay-Z, system going down immediately. And what you can see over here is that this computer is being restarted. All right, so there's my MacBook Air. And we're gonna let it boot up. I'm gonna kinda 
take a break for a second and just let it boot up. Now, since this computer restarted from a cold boot or just a general restart, if I want to do the same thing again, I have to re-SSH from this computer into this computer over here. So same process, SSH, JZ at, oops, 192.168.1.102. All right, it's gonna ask for my password. Okay, so I typed in my password and I'm back to the same screen as before. We're gonna change the command just a little bit. It's gonna be sudo shutdown uh, dash H now. So this will turn off the computer completely from this command. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press enter one more time. It's going to ask for my password. Now, mind you, when you type in the password, um, you want to make sure because you want to type in the administrator password that's on this computer. So basically, this SSH command is we were remotely logged into this computer. Everything that we typed into this white box over here, we're going to be transmitting commands from this white box over to this computer right here. So it says, um, yeah, right there, 192.168.1.102. So this computer. So we're, we are now typing in commands like we are directly typing in commands into this computer right here. So we're going to kind of get this out of my way. And type in the password. I already typed in the password. I'm going to hit enter. And now, as you can see, my remote computer, my MacBook Air, is completely turned off because I typed in the commands from this computer, remotely logged in into this computer. I'm logged into this computer directly and I can issue commands like I'm right in front of this computer right here. That's the power of SSH and what you're able to do with other computers that are on the same Wi-Fi network. And I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna say, once you are done messing with this, you wanna also go back into the terminal or I'm, I mean system preferences Okay, so back to system preferences. And you want to make sure that you go back into sharing. That computer is turned off, but you want to make sure that you disable remote login just to be safe. You want to make sure that you disable remote login after you're done playing with these set of terminal commands. All right, so something different, something neat to share. Hopefully you learned something. And yeah, all right, that's about it. Peace.